Trek lovers, um, and more importantly, fellow fans of the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701, from Star Trek, the original television series, in my opinion, the best series ever created, and the Enterprise being the, well, the most popular and by far the most beautiful spaceship ever created. Um, I would like to present to you the unboxing of the 50th anniversary USS Enterprise NCC-1701 by Polar Lights. This is a plastic assembly model kit. This is 1350 scale with a skill level of 2, ages 10 and up. Although, you'd have to be, well, I don't know, maybe from my experience, I'm not the brightest bulb um, in the hangar deck, but I figured that this, when I was 10 years old, this would have been quite a project to do. But that's just me. Anyway, this is the 50th edition version of the Enterprise from Polar Lights. Um, as you can see, the changes, well, those of you that have had this model already, you can see that now it has a smooth saucer section, um, whereas the other one had the, the grid lines. Because if it's supposedly modeled after the Smithsonian model, and you can see the grids on top. Um, before they restored the model, the, the grid lines were very prominent. It almost looked like they were spray painted on um, the underneath, anyway. I didn't think that looked really all that great, but the top, the way the paint was with the weathered rust line, um, I have tried experimenting in doing the Polar Lights 1-1000 scale of the USS Enterprise. Um, that one had the Botany Bay, but I tried doing the paint job. Um, this one does not have um, the decals and stuff, but I do have the accessory set, the deluxe accessory set that I will do an unboxing for you guys. Um, and it has the weathered decals. I don't know whether I'm going to paint it or I'm going to use the decals just yet. It depends because um, I really don't know what to expect inside the um, polar lights um, lighting kit. Let me actually, let me just grab that to show you real quick. Actually, here it is. I do have the other one, um, but the other one is not the deluxe, so I'm going to keep this one and sell the other one. And as you can see, it's got the photo etch sheet. And I'm hoping that this one's different than the one that I got, the one that I did an unboxing for you guys, my last video, because um, I don't know what to expect in here yet. And you can see it's got the weathering decals, and it does appear to have the grid. I don't know if that's just um, a placement, um, just to let you know where it goes, or if that's actual, if that's actually going to go on the um, the saucer section. But the grid lines were very fine. Anyway, this is the lighting kit, and I will be doing an unboxing video for this kit as well. So, getting back to this one. Like I was saying, this is the 50th anniversary edition, and it has the smooth saucer section. It says updated paint guide as well, so I'm in a hurry to see that. Um, this is the first one that I have. Um, to be honest, I really couldn't afford the other ones. Um, I got this one using income tax money. I was very happy to get it. I mean, this is my favorite ship, my favorite model in my lifetime. Um, this is this is the holy grail of USS Enterprise models. Now, I don't really know much about the master replicas. Uh, replicas. Um, I've seen on eBay that they are extremely expensive, and I don't know if there's really that much of a difference, but since I'll never be able to afford a master replica, I'm going to settle with this one, and to me this is the top of the line. Um, looking at the box art, it shows the USS Enterprise. Um, I wonder why they took Dr. McCoy out. Because on the older box, I think the, the issue... Oh, when did it first come out? I'm not sure. I want to say 2012, but I'm not sure. Um, the ship was kind of slanted. It had Captain Kirk, it had Dr. McCoy in the middle, and it had Mr. Spock. 
Well, this is the 50th anniversary edition, and um, they've got the Delta logo, they've got the Enterprise, and they've got Captain Kirk, and they've got Mr. Spock, but they don't have um, Dr. McCoy. So I wonder, uh, wonder why they took that out. But anyway, the box art is beautiful. The box is very large. Um, I haven't seen this in person yet. I've seen videos on YouTube. Um, and I hope I can do a good a job as some of the ones that I've seen on YouTube. Um, this is, again, Polar Lights. I'll show you the back of the box. It shows you the model, completed model. I want to get that in a shot for you. I will be putting pictures up for you guys, too. Um, this model, when it's finished, will be over 32 inches long. Again, like I said, it's got the smooth saucer section. It's got the updated paint guide. And look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Um, ultimate authenticity based on measurements taken from the 11-foot miniature used to film Star Trek, the original series. Of course, that one being in the Smithsonian Institute. This one comes with a miniature shuttlecraft, and you can either make the Galileo or the Columbus. I think I'm going to do the Galileo. It's got the detailed bridge, as you can see, featuring the view screen, the captain's chair, and consoles. And I got the paragraphics photo etch um, sheet, supplemental photo etch sheet. I got that because it had the decals to put onto the bridge, the consoles and the screens. Um, I just did a video showing that um, to you guys. Going down you can see it's got a sturdy metal support rod. It's got the base, the usual polar lights kind of dome-like base. Um, it shows you the hangar deck where you're going to put the shuttlecraft. Again, I'm going to use the Galileo. I can't wait. And on the bottom, it shows you the accessory pack. Now, this is the one that I got originally. I don't know if you can see this. But I do have this accessory pack as well, but I'm going to put it on eBay because I got the deluxe one. I ended up uh, getting the deluxe one. I'm going to use that one instead. What I might do is get another one of these models and sell it as a package. I'm not sure yet. And it shows the pilot's pack where you can make this ship into the pilot. You can make it into Christopher Pike's USS Enterprise. You can make it from the first um, pilot episode that had Mr. Spock, Captain Kirk, as the captain of the ship. So this is Star Trek, the original series, 50th anniversary edition USS Enterprise, NCC-1701 plastic model assembly kit. In 2245, Starfleet commissioned the starship USS Enterprise and assigned her the registry number NCC-1701. She was destined for greatness. The Enterprise began her memorial five-year mission in 2264 under the command of Captain James T. Kirk, joined by Vulcan science officer Mr. Spock. Captain Kirk and crew set out to pioneer the final frontier, visiting strange new worlds and discovering new life and new civilizations. That was just the beginning. The Enterprise served her, her crew well on their journey and to the far reaches of space, earning her ship, or excuse me, earning this ship her legendary status in the history of both Starfleet Command and the United Federation of Planets. <clears throat> of course, that being the original television series. Star Trek, the original television series, first aired in 1965 and left an intellig in indelible excuse me, impact on its adoring audience and continues to inspire technology 50 years later. Among its fully realized characters, colorful costumes, exciting new worlds, and technical marvels, one of, ele one of the elements that has stood the test of time is the design of the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701. The starship at the center of the adventure, this model kit of the Constitution-class starship was mastered from hands-on research gleaned from the original filming miniature during the conservation by the Smithsonian Institute. That is so cool. Though glue is necessary, the kit assembles easy and with the aid of the included pictorial assembly instruction guide. Parts come in copper, clear, and two shades of gray to minimize the need for paint. All the details are featured from a precision-crafted interior bridge, hangar deck, and shuttlecraft to thoroughly, uh, excuse me, to thorough water slide decal markings as well, which are included. 
So this thing is amazing. Picture, I mean, I absolutely would be the first in line if Polar Lights could ever come out with the 11 foot model <laughs> to actually have what's in a Smithsonian. I'm there. Polar Lights, if you're watching right now, make it. I'm there. I'll be first in line to get it because I want I, I want the one in the Smithsonian so bad. Um, that would be amazing if Polar Lights gave that option for the 11 foot model. Um, okay, back to reality and this model kit. Let's go ahead and we'll open her up and we'll see what's inside. I absolutely cannot wait. And the box is constructed of really, really solid card, but this is just a high quality, through and through. Everywhere you look on this, from the outside to the box art, it's just screens of quality. Oh. Get all the plastic off. It's like literally like unwrapping a present at Christmas time. Okay, so we get that. Are you ready? I'm so excited. My goodness. Okay, let's put that. The box is so solid. Look how solid it stands up. We'll put that over there. Okay, the first thing you see when you open it up. Oh, this is just so cool. Again, I'm going to put pictures of everything. This is actually the paint guide. Look how just amazingly awesome this is. It's, it's made of cardboard. I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to, to see that. Let me try taking the box out so you can see. This is this is so so cool. I hope you can see all of it, but I will put pictures up. This is the painting guide for the model. You can see the Enterprise Gray exterior accents, and it shows you the number that's going to be on the instruction sheet. Um, right down to the rust ring. Oh, that's so cool. The paint guide for the shuttle. Let me, let me put this box, this part down so I can bring it up to the camera for you. Look at the shuttle craft. Painting guide for the shuttle craft. Back of the Enterprise. The front. The saucer section. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, wow, this, I, I'm so excited. This is so amazing. The underneath. Oh, this is just so cool. All right, we're going to leave that. And you know, when you're done the model, this would make a fantastic background. Matter of fact, I'm going to use that as a backdrop. Or I'm going to display it as kind of like a shelving unit that I have. And I'm going to put that in the back. All right, let's bring the box back up. So we can show you guys what's in the box. First thing I notice is the clear parts. Wow. Look, you can see the bridge, parts of the bridge. Oh, I got <clears throat> I'm sorry, not the bridge, the dome. The dome part of the saucer section. It's hard to see. Um, I'll take it out of the bag for you in a minute. Um, this is the clear, the clear tree with the clear parts on it. Let's see. The next bag we've got, you can see the impulse, the impulse engines. They go on the back of the saucer section. And look, you can see where the lights go inside the Bassard collectors, or the warp nacelles. You can see the, the rings, the back of the warp drive nacelles. Oh, that's just so beautiful, huh? Look at the size of it, too. Next thing we see, we see the reflector dish. Oh, that is, that's amazing. 
again, it's all painted. It's in copper. You know, the tester's copper. Oh, that, that's beautiful. And there's more clear plastic pieces. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, you've got the Bessard collectors on the warp nacelles. Kind of like the small of the 1 1000 scale USS Enterprise. I showed you guys the model of that. Um, it kind of had the same thing. I wonder if the assembly on this model kit is just a larger version of the smaller one. We'll find out when it's got different lights. And we see the, the base, large base with the metal rod. Beautiful. And I've got the lighting kit. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to do a custom base. But we'll see. That's the base. Let's see, what do we got next? Okay, this bag has got a little more heft to it. Appears to be her neck. And it's got the pylons for the warp nacelles. Again, this thing is huge. another bag. You can see the fan tail of the hangar deck and this must be the hangar deck right here. And you can see the, the dome for the primary hull. Oh that, I'm so, that's just so beautiful. Oh that's amazing. And look at the size of the nacelles. Oh my goodness. Look at, the, look at the size of these things. <laughs> They're like baseball bats. Absolutely beautiful. Oh man, this thing is going to be big. Alright. Look at the size of that. Look at that. Look at the secondary hull. One thing I can't stress enough to you guys is that the quality of the plastic is amazing. You know, not to take anything away from the AMT model kits, but the plastic is, you know, when you pick it up you can bend it and it's, it's clear. You have to really load up on the, the primer on the inside to block the light. This, if you can feel this, this is very, very well constructed, high quality. It's thick. It, it's it's just beautiful. Again, and the size is amazing. All the all the windows have been cut to allow for the light passage. Oh, gorgeous. And now this is what we've been waiting for. Look at this. Oh my goodness, she is gorgeous. Look at the size of this. It's like a, literally, it's like an extra large pizza. <laughs> She's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love her so much. Look at that. Again, I'll be putting photographs up and I'll take her out of the bag. I'll take the primary hull out to show you. I just want to show you guys what's in the box first. Okay. It's got the usual model kit catalog. And right on the front, it's interesting because I tell you, I, I love Space 1999 as well, and I'd love at one point to get the, um, can you see the Eagle One spaceship? That's really cool. Model kits, die cast replicas. Let me show you a lot of cars. Um, automobiles. That's a catalog. Here are the assembly instructions. Okay, I don't know if I was expecting something. When I saw the instructions, it, it now I'm not taken away from it, but it seems kind of ho hum. 
when you open up the box and you see the painting guide that looks like that and then you get just folded four times okay again I'm gonna show you guys pictures so if you want you can pause the video and you can look at all these awesome diagrams Oh, it shows you the bridge, the saucer sections, um, the pylons. This is just an absolute mind-blowing high-quality model. I got this one off eBay for $113, and you know what? it's absolutely worth it. You can see the Bassard Collector and you can actually see where all the clear parts go. Um, of course there's no lights that are included with this kit but how could realistically how could you buy this kit and not light it? That, that, that's the most illogical thing. As you can see the hangar bay this is just amazing. The secondary hull, secondary hull instructions, and again the painting guide tells you all the colors. The final assembly. It shows you the shuttlecraft assembly. Again, this is. My, my advice to you guys, if you've been wanting this kit and you've been holding off, you guys, you have to get this. This this is just an amazingly beautiful kit. This is going to blow your mind, literally. What's in here? This is the, instru the uh, decals. Again, I'll take that out and I'll show you guys in a minute. And this is the round two to get on their mailing list. Um, and that's what's in the box. Even the sides of the box are amazing with cool art. I mean, this it's just freaking amazing. Okay, let I'll start unbagging the stuff and show you guys. Let me um, organize it. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Um, what I did was I kind of organized this stuff to show you guys. I took the decal sheet out, and I want to show you the decal sheet. I mean, isn't that just beautiful? And look at the size of this. Look at my hand, and look at the sheet. It's just totally amazing. Um, just hang on one minute. Okay, sorry about the phone. Isn't that the worst? Okay, I was showing you guys the decal sheet. And it's just amazing. Um, shows you the bottom, the warp nacelles, the side of the secondary hull. I'm not sure what these are for. Legendary numbers. This is beauty beautiful. Um, the one difference, of course, this with the 1-1000 is this one does not give you the option of doing every Constitution class ship in the fleet. Um, this is for the Enterprise and the Enterprise only. So those are the decals. And let me show you guys the bridge. Excuse me, the, not the bridge, but the primary hull. This is just oh, gorgeous. Like I said, it's like I'm like a little kid opening up presents on Christmas. This thing is that amazing. I've been looking forward to this forever. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna put this here. Um, let me adjust the camera so you guys can see. There you go. All right. I'm gonna show you how just gorgeous this is. Again, it's like the size of a 
an extra large pizza. And if you could feel this, look at you can't bend it. I mean, this is so high quality. This is just amazing. This is going to be the model of a lifetime. This will last you forever. If you if you do it, construct it well, and I'm going to put probably put the clear coat finish on it. it it's going to last me a long time. It's it's just beautiful. Just picture her coming at you. That's the top. And if you can see, it's totally smooth. There are no grid lines at all, which is a good thing. Here's the second there at the bottom of the uh, second part of the primary hull. Again, it, it's very solid. This thing is going to be very weighty when it's done, especially with the lighting kit. You can see the, maybe you guys can clarify what this is, what these are. I don't know if this, sep I, don't, I don't know if the saucer section separates in the Constitution class, if that's some kind of a landing gear, or if that's, I don't know what these are, radar or sensors, but they're there. You can see the, the windows. There are a couple that might need to be trimmed, but that's okay. Um, and this piece, I don't know if this should come out or if that should stay. You can see there's a couple of windows that could use a trimming. But this is very, look at, I'm trying to, you can't bend it. This is a very solid piece. Like I said, not to knock AMT, because I'm very fond of AMT, but the construction of this model is just, well, let's be honest, museum quality. That's what it is. Right down to the detail. Just absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> Alright, that's the primary hull. What a, let me show you guys the secondary hull. Open up the secondary hull bag and I'll show you guys. And again, the, the plastic is so heavy and just, it's, it's just amazing. Check that out. And it's huge. I mean, to give you an idea, a little bit on a scale of this thing, and it won't even fit in the camera to show you guys what I'm trying to do. It's just amazing. Again, the inside, holding it up to the light. Let me show you the, holding it up to the light. I mean, it probably still should be primed on the inside. That's what I'm gonna do. You might see a little bit of light block if I don't. But it's, it's just gorgeous. All right, so those are the, the primary and the secondary hulls. Let me show you the, the nacelles. Again, these things are so huge, they're like baseball bats. These are literally, literally the size of a baseball, like a wiffle bat. Look at these things. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Adjust the camera again. These things, all right, let me put the primary hull to the side for now. Let me put these out for you. Absolutely amazing. Now, I got the, um, photo etch set for this and there are a couple of things that go on the the nacelles but check out the inner panel it'd be kind of cool to light that I've seen it lit um, not so much as the refit but where it looked like it would have been lit let me 
me just show you guys it goes to how it would go together and it's very solid like I said they feel very solid and the color is spot on look at the detail on these it's just amazing I, I don't want to put it together because I don't know if it, it's so well constructed I don't know if I'm gonna get it apart that much uh, that easily so those are the nacelles and look at my arm and look at the nacelle <laughs> this thing is gigantic All right, let me show you guys the next bag this has the dome of the saucer section on it actually let me move the nacelles I'll, share, I'll show you guys what's in that bag Again, this is so so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this as much as I am as taking everything out. It's just awesome. You can see the ring that will go around the secondary hull where the radar dish is or the reflector dish. You can see the, the dome for the bridge section. It's just amazing. Show you how the the beautiful saucer section. And, and I think this part might be for the hangar deck. I'm not sure. Um, you can see the fan tail for the hangar deck. I think that might be the hangar deck. And of course it'll be, this will be detailed. Again, because you can make it with the doors closed. And I don't know why you would want to do that. Especially since they're going to give you a shuttle bay, a shuttlecraft to put in. And you can do it with the doors open. Which absolutely is going to be what I'm going to do. So that's what's in that bag. Okay, the next bag has what appears to be her beautiful neck section that connects the primary hull to the secondary hull. Let me just open it up for you guys. All right, what do we got first? There are a lot of parts on this kit too. More pots than you can imagine. I don't even know what this is. Let's see. Let's, oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at the bridge. How awesome is that? Again, I'm going to take pictures. I don't, I don't know how this, how it's zooming in for you guys, if it can get the detail. But it's not very big. But it is beautiful. And I don't know what this is. Perhaps the inside of the hangar bay? I don't know. The hangar deck inside, maybe? Could be. But anyway, there's the bridge. That's amazing. What else do we have in here? We have the radiator. Um, the heat dissipation units that go on the warp drive engines on the cells. And again, look how big these are. Look at my finger, <laughs> and look how big they are. Beautiful. And here is oh, the graceful, elegant, beautiful neck of the Enterprise. And look how sturdy this thing is. Look at, look at that. This is really built well. And again, this is, yeah, this is going to have to be, uh, it's still very solid. But I'm not going to take the chance on any light bleeding through, so I will prime the inside. It won't take much. You know, it's not like you have to totally black it out. I think a couple of coats of primer should do it. Again, let me show you how the, the scale, the sheer scale of this thing. I mean, I get it as far away from the screen as I can, and look how big it is. 
is just, this is just, I, I just, I am so happy right now. And this shows you the pylons for the warp drive nacelles. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You know, until they came out with the high definition remaster of the uh, original series, you know, I never noticed, I never really noticed that there were windows on the pylons. I wonder what could be in there. Some kind of a staircase where they climb. <coughs> Excuse me. To get up into the nacelle. And it shows you the, the panels. And again, it's so well detailed. And again, look at, look at my hand and look how big they are. Just amazing. Alright, that's that bag. Let me, ooh, let me show you guys the deflector dish. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. A beautiful copper. And again, you really don't have to paint it. I mean, I may. I don't know. Because I did get the copper, the tester's copper, especially for this, for the paint gun. But it's beautiful. Let me show you guys. I'm just going to go right there, the deflector dish. So that's the deflector dish. What else can I show? Oh, let me show you guys the uh, the Bessard collector and nacelle caps for the warp drive with the little ball at the end. Again, they sell the kit where you can make this into a pilot ship or a Captain Christopher Pike's USS Enterprise. And if, as you guys remember, um, if you watch my videos, the one that I did, I did the Polar Lights 11000 USS Enterprise and I made that the pilot version. And instead of having the balls on the back of the um, warp nacelles, it had the little holes, like the little grid, and that's what I ended up putting. But you can see, well, this goes on the back of the primary hull on top. This probably goes into the nacelle. And you can see where the little clear plastic pieces would go into the Bassard collectors. Again, why would you buy this kit and not light it? it that just would make no sense to me. The amount of work that you're going to have to do to complete this kit is going to be astounding. And you're going to want to keep this forever. And it's nice because of all the different shades of plastic. Let me show you. So you got the nacelles. Where did I put them? Here they are. And you got this, like, the basic color of the ship. And then you have a different color end cap that'll go on. I mean, I want to make that look good for you guys. Maybe if I put the light off, because I've been using the light. How do I do that? There it is. I don't know, can you guys, does that look better? If I take that and, no, I think it looked, it was better with the light on, so how do I, okay, yeah, we'll keep the light on. You can see, I don't know if you can see the two different shades for the modeled plastic. And then like I read to you on the box, it showed that it had different modeling, um, colors for the need for the need to paint is minimized and again it's the impulse engines again look at the size of them look at my hand look at the size of the impulse engines again the rings for the Bessard collectors and the warp nacelles and the grids and again this goes on the side of the warp nacelle uh, let's see what else can I show you guys oh the clear We've got the clear parts. This is the bag that I was showing you from the facade collectors. And I was telling you guys that the last model that I did was the Polar Lights 1-1000 the USS Enterprise. And the parts for the Bassard collectors were very similar. Obviously they were much smaller because that was 1-1000. And if you guys want, you can check out that video that I had put up. But this is just so cool. 
I think it's got the little pin where you can attach it and this is what's going to spin with the motors that I'm going to put into the nacelles and oh, this is just going to this is so cool it's just going to if you guys get a chance to get this kit you, you just have to this kit is just amazing I can't say that enough again I, I hope Polar Lights at some point makes an 11 foot model because I, I am so getting that model and it's got the little beads, the clear plastic beads that go into the Bassard collectors. Um, pretty cool. Let me show you guys the second, because uh, it was two packages of clear. There's another clear package of clear to show you guys. Because don't forget, the top of the saucer section has those lights, the four lights that are at the quarters of each part, each section, and that's got to be plastic, clear, and oh, look at this, this is nice. The, these go into all of the windows. Again, I was just, I'm so used to Ertl, um, making my ships and then drilling the holes and then there's nothing to put into it. This is so amazing. These glass, well, excuse me, clear plastic sections actually go into the windows to help with light dissipation. Oh, just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this goes on the inside of the, the island part on a saucer section top to dissipate the light. These are all for the windows. Beautiful. And these are clear plastic strips. I'm not sure where they would go. Perhaps the um, side of the nacelles. What else is in this bag? More windows. You guys can see that. Clear plastic dome. I guess this is the dome for the, the top part. Or would that be the bottom part, the sensor the dome? And this could be the top, for the top of the bridge. And here they are, the pieces that go on the saucer section. It's just, this is just so much to take in. Um, my mind is blown. I just can't wait to get this. This thing is going to be absolutely stunningly gorgeous when it's completed. Um, I think I showed you guys everything in the box. What else do I I got the... Let me show you guys the stand. You can see the sturdy metal support rod. And of course it's going to have to be sturdy. What's cool about this is, check it out. I don't know if you can see that on the inside. It's, it's hollow. That way there, you can run the wires without running the wires down the side. That's what I had to do. Um, on my Polar Lights 1-1000 because I put lights in it and I had to run it down the side of the um, metal bait, the metal support rod to the stand. And of course you've got the standard Polar Lights kind of base and this just goes in. I don't want to force it because I don't want to keep it in there for now. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use this base or if I'm going to make some kind of a custom special base for this model. But, okay. I showed you all the contents. I opened up the bags for you guys. And this is just an amazing model kit. Let me show you guys the, the backboard again. The, the painting guide. It comes with this awesome painting guy that you can use as, as a display. Look, at it even has the bridge. It, it, the whole model kit is just mind-blowing. Um, I'm on Enterprise Overload and I'm loving it. Um, but the thing I'm going to use with this is I'm going to use this, the Deluxe Accessory Kit, also from Polar Lights. In my next video I'll be doing an unboxing of this to show you guys what's in it. Um, so if you guys want to get this one to go with your Polar Lights 1350 kit, 
you'll be able to see what's in it if you guys are interested. So this one is the 50th anniversary edition Polar Lights 1350 scale USS Enterprise. If you were curious about getting this kit, I hope this helped. Um, you know, I went through everything and I showed you guys the contents, um, completely emptied the box and showed you all the pieces. And I cannot wait to get started. And what I'll do is I'll do updates periodically to show you the progress of the ship being built. But the next video I'm going to do is going to be of the, um, the lighting accessory kit. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed going through this kit with me because I absolutely am thrilled about this. And if you were thinking about getting this kit and you're an Enterprise lover like I am, you just you must own it. it you just have to have it. So, that's it. I hope um, you enjoyed my video. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.